We do start on the campaign trail as all eyes are turning to 2024. Right now on the Democratic side, President Biden only drawing a couple of challengers. It is a different story in the Republican race, more than a half dozen so far. Now, former President Donald Trump still the Republican frontrunner right now for the nomination, and he pledges to continue in the race even if convicted of a felony. Trump was quick to pivot back to campaigning after the arraignment yesterday on federal charges related to his handling of classified documents. News Nation's Robert Sherman joining us live from Miami now. Robert, what does the campaign trail look like today? Yeah, Natasha, the dust is just barely settling here on this arraignment, but the focus is squarely back on the campaign trail, and it is set to be a busy weekend on the trail. You've got former Vice President Mike Pence in Huntsville, Alabama. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is over in Nevada. And here's an interesting one. You have Texas Congressman Will Hurd today. Where is he? He's in New Hampshire, rubbing a couple of elbows there. So that's interesting to take a look at. There have been some rumblings that he's considering getting into the race as well. We shall see, and we shall keep you updated. But as the race stands, former President Trump, with a commanding lead in the real clear politics average of polls, over, owning over 50% of Republican support. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in second. You see him there at 22%. The rest of the pack polling at less than 5%. In terms of what matters to voters, what is moving them the most? New polling data is out from Suffolk University, which shows a lot of the usual suspects. You have the inflation, top of mind, immigration, second, threats to democracy, rounding out that top three list. But there's another one that comes to mind whenever we talk to voters, and that's electability. Well, I think everything's on the table, and, and what voters are looking for is who can beat Joe Biden in 2024. But bringing things back to Florida for a moment, as we said, around the country, you see a lot of polls with the former president owning a big lead. But look at Florida for a second. New polling data is out that shows the former president and the Florida governor tied here in the Sunshine State. We'll be following that, Natasha. Robert Sherman, live for us in Miami. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.